And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Rift Force Beyond. This is an expansion for Rift Force. Rift Force is a game that kind of came out of nowhere last year for me. I heard people talk about it playing it, and I was like, meh. And then I gave it a try, and I really liked it. I love the two-player action in this. It, it feels like it's halfway between a game like Reiner Knizia's Battle Line and something like Summoner Wars. There's a bit of both elements in it. It's more abstract than, you know, a combat, the Summoner versus Summoner type game, but it has combat in it, and it's more in your face than those other games, and I just enjoyed it. And the original one came with 10 different summoners in it to fight back and forth. This expansion adds eight more to that mix. It also adds rules for playing two against two and solo rules. Let's take a look. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about the different factions here. This is mainly what I care about, the fact that there is now eight more different summoners that you can have. So my favorite is music, which if you they look kind of freaky there actually, but music does two damage and if they kill an enemy, that enemy becomes yours. It comes to your side. I don't think it's the most powerful one in the game. I just like it so much. It's just fun. I like having some of my opponent's special abilities to mess with, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, then we'll pick love. So love, which kind of is a freaky deaky, look at this bubbly thing coming to get you. Love, when you play the love card, you can heal all damage from one ally. That's really powerful, completely healing as soon as you play them. Then they just do two damage like normal. So playing a bunch of love, I played like three loves, boom, 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 in three locations. You heal everything up. That's a little annoying to your opponent. After that, we have Acid here. Now, Acid, I actually think, is probably my least favorite of this new set. They do three damage to the first enemy and one to the second. That's pretty powerful, but if they destroy an enemy, you don't get any Rift Force. I like getting Rift Force for destroying enemies. So while they're very powerful, ah, I don't know. You can soften up the enemy. I guess there's that. My second favorite of this set is probably the Elementals here. They do two damage. But then if you have less than seven cards in your hand, you draw one. That's huge. That's a huge thing here. I, I really like this. I also think it's hilarious that they're, uh, how are you fighting a comet? I don't know, but I just find that to be pretty neat. The lava folks, they're another just big damage. They do two damage to the first enemy at adjacent locations, so they shoot it out. And then, but then they do one damage to this character and all the alleys in front of it. They're great on the front lines. You know, they do a lot of damage, but other than that, I don't know. Doing four damage at a time to adjacent stuff is cool, but then doing damage yourself to make up for it, I'm not sure I like that as much. The magnet reminds me of some from the first set. Place two damage on the last enemy in this location, so they shoot the one at the end, and then you move them in the magnet somewhere else. They give you some mobility, so there's that. Then we have the beast. The beast moves. And then if there's damage on the beast, they do three damage to the first enemy, otherwise two. That's pretty cool. I mean, the fact that you can move and do damage is pretty big anyway. They're just jumping around a location, hitting things. There's a one damage on them, then they're a wrecking machine doing three damage. And then sand, I love sand, one of my favorites in this set. Ooh, look at that fist coming towards you. Move them to any other location, and then they do one damage to every enemy there. When you, your opponent starts playing and you're playing sand, they learn real quick, maybe I shouldn't stack a whole bunch of people at the same location because you get a couple sand people out and you're just going to wreak havoc. And whenever they do that, you're also removing a damage from them. Ugh. They're, uh, they're probably my second favorite of this set maybe or third favorite, I don't know, but they're definitely, I think, one of the most powerful ones in the set. Real briefly, this also adds team mode. That's why there's these here. You can just play with these as normal, I suppose, but you add these to the end of the row. Um, and then you're fighting back and forth each other. You can, you can kind of work together. It's just a way to play two versus two on a side. And there's a whole deck of cards included for solo play. I gotta be honest, the, neither of these modes appeals to me that much, but hey, if you want to get them, then this has it in there. This has a solo mode now. It has the team. A lot of people like these, you know, the, the solo type summoner versus summoner. They like having two against another. And the rules are pretty simple for two. You're just working on a team. 
you're fighting each other, but it's possible that you, you can help each other out or activate one of your opponent's people. There's a few small changes. It, it's, it's fine, but I still, my fair way to play the game is one versus one. There's not really a lot to talk about components, the art and stuff, and the quality of the cards. It's the same as the original set. The only thing I can tell you is, hey, they give you more tokens, which I haven't needed yet. I've been using the original ones. And everything fits in the base box. Great! Again, the solo and the two versus two, to me, that's just bonus stuff. The best part is you now have 18 different summoners to pick from. Now, in the original game, when you picked, you each get a random one, and then you draft it from the rest. Here now, you're going to have a random assortment to draft from. They're not all going to be available, but that's okay. I played just the new ones. I played a mix with the new and the old ones. They seem to fit in fine. I'm not seeing any power creep here. Uh, they all, you know, the, the, some of those old ones are fantastic, and... There's just different combos. I really like Rift Force. If you like Rift Force also, then you're going to get this straight up because you just it almost doubles the amount of content in the game. And if you want to play by yourself or with four players, that's now possible. So great little expansion here. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent! Still didn't break the box. Ah, oh, there we got it.